Go ahead, go. Seriously. Don't put that in your mouth. Oh. <laughs> He's such a dirty boy. <laughs> <laughs> See, he thinks it's funny too. My name is Rich Rivera and I am pastor and church planner at Restoration Community Church in the South Bronx, USA. This is the same community that birthed hip hop and if you look at it, hip hop really is a, a culture that was born out of scarcity. So since there wasn't any instruments, they took turntables. People didn't have vocal lessons so they, they spoke over the music. And I think like culturally our church is like that. We're being really creative with the little bit that we have. And because it's built on a gospel, I think the same way hip hop transcended culture and it ended up being this worldwide phenomenon, I think we're in a good place to see a, a healthy, solid gospel movement come from inner city neighborhoods like ours that are doing church in a way um, that may not be the model at the time. My name is Jake Mitchell and I'm the church planning resident here at Restoration Community Church in the South Bronx. I'm a tall, skinny white guy and I just moved to the Bronx and most of the people that I come in contact with I don't know, at first they might be surprised that I'm around or whatever, but um, but once we get to know each other and stuff, it's, yeah, I don't know, it hasn't been an issue really. Whether going to the bodegas or, or hanging out with people in their homes, uh, they, I don't know, I feel like I've been embraced by people. You step in the room, they won't be holding me down. All these demons in my head, come on, let's kill them with sound. See, I'm praying that you take me and you never look back. That's why I'm crying to a wall, hoping that you come out. Hey, and I don't wanna wake up from this. And I cannot afford to forget. Feeling my name like is Martina Ramirez, and I am the worship leader at Restoration Community Church in the South Bronx. I think it's a, a category of itself. Like, you can't say it's a hipster church or it's a. Spanish Pancasa Church, or it's, you know, I think it has its own entity of itself. It's just a good mix. It's just everybody's basically working class, hustle and bustle, not too hood, but hood just enough so they don't get beat up in the street. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> working class mature hood. <laughs> when God looks at the South Bronx community, he sees his people. He sees a people in need of a faithful gospel witness. He sees a people that have just as much value as any other person in this world. He sees a community with great gifts that he himself has given, um, but one that is grossly under-resourced. We need folks to come alongside and walk with us um, as we, we move forward and proclaiming the kingdom of God and trying to live that out.